So you've heard Reddit's a great place to discuss common interests among cool, like-minded people. So you take the plunge and create an account. If you're on mobile, you are suddenly told that you get to choose your very first Reddit collectible avatar. And you think to yourself, awesome, but what on earth is a Reddit collectible avatar? What am I even looking at? Which one should I choose and why should I care? If that describes you, you're in the right place. Reddit collectible avatars are basically digital trading cards that you can collect and trade with other Redditors or even people who don't use Reddit at all. The cool thing about them is you can do absolutely whatever you want with them. You can use it as your profile avatar, which displays to the left of your comments on Reddit. You can trade or send it to other Redditors, or you can just ignore it. You don't have to use it at all if you don't want to. The number one cool feature about Reddit avatars is that their traits can be mashed and intermingled. So say that you think the default Reddit mascot, Snoo, is kind of boring. Well, you can turn Snoo into a banana, much more exciting. The five that you are able to choose when you create your account are from a collection called Reddit Starter Pack. They include Keyboard Brawler, Great Mind, Comic Reliever, Peacemaker, and for the elite hackers among you, Shadow Figure. When you claim this avatar, it is assigned a number, and that number represents the latest one that you created. So if you get Great Mind number 22, that means that it is the 22nd Great Mind ever created. This is just the Reddit starter pack, but there are hundreds of different collections of Reddit avatars to collect. Some of them are given for free to all Redditors, some are given for free to Redditors of certain communities, or if you meet certain criteria, and some are actually purchasable in the Reddit shop for anywhere from $5 to $200. The free ones tend to have numbers in the tens or even hundreds of thousands, while the paid ones can have numbers around a hundred for the most expensive ones. For the freebies, aside from the starter pack, we have standouts such as Reddit Cup for soccer, the original free drops, which were the first Reddit collectible avatars to ever exist, and the recently released Rabbids collection. Aren't they cute? There are others, but I will cover those more in detail in a future video. These are no longer claimable, but Reddit releases new free drops every month or two. When they release a new one, be sure to check my channel for information on how to qualify for it or claim it. The paid collections come in generations, and so far there have been three total generations. These are purchasable in the Reddit avatar shop. These are done in partnership with independent artists, with most of them being Redditors themselves. If you purchase an avatar from the shop, a large percentage of that purchase goes directly to the artist that drew the avatar that you buy. Generation 1 was released in July of 2022 and is now completely sold out. Some people see this collection as like the first edition of Reddit avatars, similar to the first edition of something like Pokemon cards. Generation 2 was released in October of 2022 to coincide with Halloween and it's a very spooky collection of avatars. It is also completely sold out at this point. Generation 3 was released very recently in April, and it's called Future Realities. Reddit realized that their collections were selling out too quickly, so in addition to the 30 artists that participated in Generations 1 and 2, they brought on over 70 new artists to create their own sets of avatars. This collection is still available in the shop, with many cool designs still being available. Speaking of availability, the way that Reddit avatars work is that a certain number of avatars are available for purchase, and once they sell out, that's it. They're gone from the shop forever. As an example from my previous video, Tyler Faust's Faustling collection from Generation 1 had three different avatars, and they had supplies of 1,000, 600, and 150. There are two main communities where people discuss and trade avatars on Reddit. We have our Collectible Avatars, which is the official Reddit admin-run channel that features avatar news, cool mashups, and information directly from Reddit, as well as our Avatar Trading, which is an enthusiast community for people actively trading avatars. There are also individual avatar subreddits run by the artists and communities for owners of specific avatars like the folks over at our Coneheads, but that's a video for another time. So at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's too bad. I really like the look of some of these sold out collections. Is there any way to get them? Well, first of all, like I said earlier, any Redditor can send any avatars that they own to any other Redditor. But if you try to arrange a sale or a trade through Reddit, there is no guarantee that the other person will hold up their end of the bargain. They might just agree to the trade, wait for you to send your avatar in the trade, and then disappear off the face of the planet. Which brings me to my next point. These Reddit avatars actually run on blockchain technology, specifically the Polygon network. Now I'll just put a disclaimer here. You don't have to interact with Reddit avatars on the blockchain at all if you don't want to. You can just collect them, buy them from the shop, and never even have to concern yourself at all about them running on blockchain. But if you do want to participate in the active buying and selling of avatars on the secondary market, you can learn how to use the NFT marketplace OpenSea, where Reddit collectible avatars are commonly bought and sold. Avatars can be bought there for as cheap as a few pennies for some of the more common free ones and as expensive as thousands of dollars for the rarest ones. I might make another video tutorial at a later date with instructions on how to set up OpenSea. And if you would like to see that kind of content, please let me know in the comments. 
If you do choose to participate in secondary market buying of avatars, please just be careful. In the 11 months that these have existed so far, prices have swung wildly both up and down. I won't give buying or selling advice on this YouTube channel. My only recommendation to anyone would just be to buy the avatars that you actually like and see yourself using on Reddit and only if you have the disposable income to afford it. Reddit collectible avatars are super fun to collect and mash up to use as your personal unique profile picture on Reddit. I've been collecting them since the first generation back in July of 2022 and I have quite the collection going of both the paid and the free ones. I noticed there is almost a complete lack of Reddit collectible avatar content on YouTube so I thought I would shoot my shot and make content like this for people like me who are completely addicted to collecting these little guys. In the future I'll probably do tutorials, free drop overviews, avatar news, interviews with the artists, and showcases of the paid collections, as well as giveaways. And speaking of giveaways, I'll be giving away the five avatars from the Reddit starter pack collection that I used in the creation of this video. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. I'll be picking five winners randomly from the comments next Friday, June 23rd, and if you are one of the only comments, you'll have a pretty great odds to win one of these. If you are the only comment, you'll win all five. I'm just starting out here on YouTube, guys, so if you do like the video, please subscribe and like the video. Share with your friends who you think might be interested in it. I would love to continue making more videos like this if there's enough interest. Take care everyone and I hope to see you on Reddit.